So as we move into this time of prayer and meditation, I invite you to hold a space for peace. That we pray for peace in our world. It seems like something that we haven't quite learned how to do yet. How to live with one another with peace and in respect and love. So we hold up that consciousness, we hold up that intention that we live in a world in, at peace. We surround the people of Ukraine in our thoughts and prayers. And we also hold the people of Russia in our thoughts and prayers. For all over this world, there is conflict. And yet there is a promise that peace is a possibility. Jesus said, peace be still. And the storm stopped. And all the storms that are going on in our life and in the world, we come back to those little words, peace be still. Peace be still. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Peace, be still. It's hard to have peace in the world when there's not peace in our own heart, when there's not peace in our own lives. So we start from within ourselves. We look within our own mind and heart and soul and claim that peace. The peace that is greater than any conflict, is greater than any upset or disappointment or fear. We start with peace. As we begin each day in prayer and meditation, we start each day from peace. And when things start to go a little crazy, we remember to come back to peace. When we get anxious or afraid or upset, we come back to peace. Peace, be still, Jesus said. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. And search your own soul tonight. Where is there a desire for greater peace within your own mind, your own heart, your own soul? Where do you need to let go? Where do you need to turn it over to God? Where in your life do you need the forgiveness? Where do you need to release the disappointments and the resentments of the past? Tonight, we come into peace. And as we do so, we hold the light for peace for all people, for every man, woman, and child on this planet. All great spiritual teachers taught peace, that they had found peace in their own life, in their own heart, in their own soul, and they offered it to the world. And yet oftentimes we miss their message. We're so busy doing all the other things that we do that we forget that peace is always a choice within our own mind and heart and soul. So tonight we come back to peace. We let go of all the concerns and fears and upsets and disappointments and we come back to peace. The peace is always an option. Peace is always present. Underneath all the drama, peace is right there. Peace is the first power. Peace is the promise of every soul. 
Peace is a gift from God to all of creation. My peace I leave with you, Jesus said. Not as the world does it, do I give unto you. So tonight we claim the peace that was promised to us from the beginning of time. And as we claim peace in our own mind and heart and soul, we become instruments of peace for the world. That you cannot give another what you have not attained for yourself. You cannot offer someone else peace if you're not living it in your own life. Today we come back to our essence, our truth. We come back to the peace of our soul. And as we start this 40-day period, we make a greater commitment to peace. Let my soul know peace. Let my heart and mind know peace. Let me know a peace that is greater than I've ever known before. So we dedicate tonight to peace. To peace in our own life. To peace in our families. To peace in our community. To peace in the world. And we hold those people that are struggling and are at war we hold them in our thoughts. We know the light of God surrounds them. The love of God enfolds them. The power of God protects them. And the presence of God watches over them. We pray for them. That they are safe tonight. That they feel the presence of God. And that God is at work, even in this situation, for greater good for the whole world. In the name and through the power of Jesus Christ, who stands beside us always. We say thank you. And so it is. Amen. <laughs>